Okay, so now we'll be looking at the financial maths. Uh, let's see how the financial maths went. Ryan saved 500 Rand of his monthly salary into a savings account. The interest rate bank offers 8.6%. Ryan decided to stop paying the monthly installments after nine years, but keeps the money in the account after receiving the interest. Determine the amount of money in the savings account. So, uh, what did the student do? He where is it there we go okay there's our future value interest formula he takes the interest rate which I suspect is just how his calculator gives it to him uh, let's see 43 divided by 6,000 is equal to 0 0.67 times 12 is 8.6 is that what uh, the question said Yes, the question said 8.6. Yes, so that's the same interest rate. So that's fine. For nine years, yes, nine times 12 is 108. So for nine years, he saves 500 Rand. At the end of nine years, then he has this amount. I'm not testing. I don't know what the memo answer is. But then this amount is left in the bank account uh, for another four after nine years. Okay. Interest and after 11, determine the amount of money in saving after 11 years. So there's two more years, which is 24 months, same interest rate, and then this is the future value. So very brilliantly done. Well done, student. Okay, France took out a mortgage loan of 950000 to buy a house that was requested had to pay monthly installments for 30 years he charged interest there's the interest calculate his monthly installments very routine procedure just there's the formula substitute in normal straightforward substitution interest uh, rate um, but it's monthly installments so he pays monthly installments for 30 years so 12 times 30 is 360 at a negative and then you get it seems like you get this is your your outstanding amount or your your monthly amount okay so notice where we put the 950 that's our present value and we are trying to work out what is our recurring payment and there's the recurring payment okay uh, question 7.2.2 here we go um, a question is asking determine the outstanding balance on the, the loan at the end of the first year so he's made one year of payment which means, and remember in this formula, N represents how many payments are left. So that's why in the beginning, there's still 360 payments left. That's why there's 950,000 Rand outstanding. Okay, the whole amount. After 12 months, the end of one year, I have how many payments left? That's 348. I just take 360, subtract the 12 months that I paid, and now if I substitute in here, the P value will give me what is my balance. So the P formula is always what is the balance. It's always that's the balance, the balance formula. But N represents the number of payments that are left in the beginning, all of them, but now after 12 payments, 348 left, and so he has 941,242 outstanding excellent absolutely 100% for this student for your financial maths well done okay so um, that's the financial maths in the next video we'll look at uh, derivatives calculus I mean